The first vaccination day with Johnson & Johnson shots today at a hospital in New Jersey. This by just coincidence on the one-year anniversary of the hospital's first COVID patient. Things are changing. Since that first patient at that hospital, more than 300 patients have died. Trinitas Regional Medical Center, it's in Elizabeth. Now the hospital is helping with inoculations at a local high school. With the latest, here's New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson. The flow of foot traffic inside the enormous gymnasium at Elizabeth High School shows once again just how eager people are to get the COVID vaccine. And I got an email yesterday, so I, I rode my bike. <laughs> I am happy that I was able to get it because I do work in a child care facility. Today, health care workers from Trinitas Regional Medical Center immunized a thousand residents of Elizabeth and Union County using the single shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It gives us the opportunity to help the people of our community to prevent further cases of COVID. The hospital had its first COVID case a year ago today and since then treated 13,000 patients who survived. But sadly, 300 died along with 10 staff members from the virus. Today was a time to reflect and work to keep people safe in the future. Now we're going out there and we're vaccinating. We're trying to prevent the spread. I am ecstatic. You know, I need it for work and, you know, and life. The desire to get the one-shot J&J &J vaccine is growing. So much that people are canceling appointments for the other two-shot COVID vaccines. But that means your turn will be delayed. If you choose to wait for the J&J &J vaccine, you will go back into the queue. If that is your choice, we respect that. There's additional vaccine news from Jersey City, where the mayor is designating every dose they receive next week for teachers and school staff. And then the Board of Education is giving us a list per day of teachers and support staff. They're going to prioritize within their system, and then we're just going to allocate everything to them. Those seeking the vaccine still have to be patient, but the governor says we should have a bigger supply by the end of this month or the beginning of April. And Elizabeth, Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. In New Jersey, people in Elizabeth are stepping up the race to vaccinate people in their own community. Trinitas Regional Medical Center says that it's giving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine to 1,000 people today at Elizabeth High School. All of this exactly one year after the hospital admitted its first COVID patient. We are bringing hope to the people of Elizabeth and Union County, one of the areas hardest hit during the first and second surges of the pandemic, especially Elizabeth as a hotspot city. Trinitas says that they've given out 10,000 vaccinations since they started becoming available. And the hospital also is telling us that it has treated and discharged 13,000 COVID patients in the past year. Another milestone reached in this pandemic. In Elizabeth today, 1,000 residents are getting vaccinated. News 12 New Jersey's Darlene Melendez at Elizabeth High School at the vaccination site. Darlene, this is a big day. Stella, yeah, a big day for one of the hardest hit cities in New Jersey. Uh, a lot of milestones today. 1,000 people getting vaccinated here at Elizabeth High School on the exact same day where one year ago the city treated its first COVID-19 positive patient. Now, inside of the high school gym, that is where the vaccination site is. It's run by the Trinitas Medical Center. There are stations set up for screenings, vaccinations, and post-vaccine monitoring. The hospital will vaccinate 1,000 community residents against COVID-19 using the recently approved Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Now, depending on supply and where in the state you are, it can be kind of difficult to get a vaccine. Here we met one woman who helped others get an appointment. I received this link. I sent it to a bunch of people I knew needed appointments, and they all got appointments right away. And that made me feel great. Just okay, good. You have you take a breath, saying, "Okay, good. You know, this is this is a family that's going to be able to see each other again." For us, we're really happy to be here. This is a good. These are always good days for us because we get to see people also being able to protect themselves for the future. And over the last year, the medical center treated and discharged 13,000 COVID-19 patients. More than 300 of those patients have died, and that is including 10 staff members. Now, the center here in Elizabeth uh, will continue to vaccinate people in the community. Right now, they are doing it two days a week 
It does depend on supply though, so that may be subject to change week by week. But of course, the hope here is as we get more and more of those vaccines, uh, more and more people will get vaccinated. And in turn, we step forward to any normal people I spoke with inside the vaccination center say they are hopeful for the future. We're in Elizabeth today, Darlene Melendez, News 12, New Jersey. At the top of the hour, we told you that in about one month, coronavirus vaccination efforts are expected to ramp up in New Jersey. But even as demand continues to outpace supply, New Jersey ranks near the top in total doses administered. We now return to Bert St. Pierre, who brings us the latest. As demand to be vaccinated against the coronavirus grows in New Jersey, the state continues to face a shortage of supply. New Jersey ranks eighth of all states in doses administered daily and tenth in total doses. More than two and a half million doses have been given, but officials say demand continues to outpace supply. This week, the state expects to receive approximately 374,000 doses. Governor Phil Murphy says vaccination efforts should ramp up further in about a month's time. We are not expecting to have our dose allocation from the federal government significantly increased until April. This is the week of the 8th. I think the week of the 8th, 15th, and 22nd, Judy, will show incremental improvement. I think somewhere around the week of March 29 or April 5th, we're going to see a quantum step up. Meanwhile, Trinitas Regional Medical Center is marking one year since the first COVID positive patient was admitted to the hospital. As of yesterday, hospital officials say medical professionals were treating 12 patients who have tested positive for the virus. This is actually the first week where we have seen some of the lowest numbers since uh, November, since early November. McTeague credits the rollout of the three vaccines for helping to lower the amount of patients staff is helping. Today, doctors and nurses with Trinitas administered 1,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at a vaccination center set up at the Thomas Dunn Sports Center. We are bringing hope to the people of Elizabeth and Union County, one of the areas hardest hit during the first and second surges of the pandemic, especially Elizabeth as a hotspot city for COVID. While demand for the vaccine grows, many still remain hesitant to be vaccinated. Even amongst our own healthcare workers, many people are skeptical. They want to wait. They don't know what's going to happen, what the side effects have been. But the studies are already showing from Pfizer and from Moderna that the side effects that are the severe side effects are really minimal based upon the millions of people that have already been vaccinated. And I think that what will happen over time is that as we see more and more of our colleagues, more of our co-workers, more of our friends and family who get vaccinated, we'll see more people stepping up to the plate saying, okay, I'm ready to be vaccinated. And medical professionals continue to urge people to be vaccinated when it's their turn. It really makes you smile with everybody coming in because they're, they're buying into it and they understand that the herd immunity concept is important. And by getting vaccinated, that helps us get there. What they're not sure of sometimes is why do I have to wear a mask if I get vaccinated? We're immune to ourselves, but not to others. We can still carry. Additionally, CVS is expanding how many locations in New Jersey offer the coronavirus vaccine. 163 locations now offer the vaccine, and over the weekend, CVS began receiving doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as part of the federal pharmacy program. Reporting in Elizabeth, Bert St. Pierre, WNBC News.